Hello everyone, welcome to VA Consulting Pro. In last video, we discussed about Microsoft Dataverse. That means what is it? In this video, we are going to discuss about why choose Microsoft Dataverse, how to work with any data, how to work with any app, or how to export and import data with Microsoft Dataverse. This video is all about Microsoft Dataverse and it's working and why you should go with it. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and you will get to know everything. The very first, we are going to work with any data. That means Microsoft Data Wars provides an abstraction that makes it possible to work with almost any kind of data. That includes your relational, non-relational, image, files, relative search, or even the data leaks. There's no need to understand the type of data as Data Wars exposes a set of data types that allow you to build up your model. The type of storage is always optimized for the data type chosen. So whenever you are going to work with any type of data in Microsoft Dataverse, you are going to work with common data model, tables, columns, search, and data lake. The very first over here, we are going to discuss about the common data model. Well, if you have ever had to bring data from multiple systems and apps together, then what to do? You know what an expensive and time consuming task that can be. Without being able to share and understand the same data easily, each app or data integration project requires a custom implementation. You can use the ETL process, you can use any kind of ETL tools, or maybe you are just using Python scripts to load the data. What is the role of common data model over here? Well, common data model provides reference architecture that's intended to streamline this process. That means your data integration process by providing a shared data language for business and analytics app to use. The common data model metadata system makes it possible for data and its meaning to be shared across apps and business processes such as your Power Apps, Power BI, Dynamic 365 and Azure. If you want to know more about the common data models, please put your comment in the comment section and we are going to come out with a new video. Now let's talk about the tables. In Dataverse, you can create your tables as well. And tables are same like you create in any database. In Dataverse, tables are used to model and manage business data. That means to increase your productivity, Dataverse includes a set of tables. Those are known as standard tables. These tables are designed in accordance with best practices to capture the most common concept and scenarios within an organization. A set of tables that are commonly used across industries such as user and teams are included in Dataverse and referred to as standard tables. Not only that, in Dataverse you can also create the custom tables which we are going to discuss about in our later videos. Now we are going to talk about columns. In Dataverse, columns define the individual data items that can be used to store data in a table. Fields are sometimes called attributes by the developers. A table can have many columns. It can be your name, location, department, register, student, or many more. Columns might have different types of data, such as your numerals, string, digital data, or maybe image or URL, something like that. There's no need to keep relational and non-relational data separated artificially if it's a part of the same business process flow. Next, we are going to discuss about the relationships. Well, as you know, there are the different kinds of relationship exist in a relational database, such as many to one, one to one, many to many, or one to one, etc. Similarly, in data wars, data in one table often relates to data in another table. And in order to maintain those tables, table relationship can be defined. And how you can define? You can define into your data wars. As you can see on the snapshot on your screen, there's an add relationship. So using that button, you can define the relationship. In Dataverse, mainly there are three kinds of relationships that you can define. That is many to one, one to many, and many to many. Because many to one relationship are the most common, Dataverse provides a specific data type named lookup, which not only makes it easy to define the relationship, but adds productivity to building forms and apps. 
Now let's discuss about the search. In Microsoft Dataverse, you can find three ways to query rows. You can find a Dataverse search or a quick search, which can be a single table or multi table. And then you can find the advanced find. Over here, you should remember that multi table quick find is also called categorized search. There are multiple ways to import and export data in Microsoft Dataverse. Whenever you are going to work with Microsoft Dataverse, you may need to import or export the data from it. You can use Data Flows, Power Query, Azure Data Factory, Azure Logic Apps, and Power Automate. Dynamics customers also have the access to data export services while working with the Dataverse. So let's discuss them one by one, what are these and how to use them. The very first comes the Data Flows and Power Query. In Microsoft Power Platform, data flows enable you to connect with business data for various sources, clean the data, transform it, and then load it into Dataverse. Data flow supports dozens of popular on-premises, clouds, and software as a service data source. You can connect with hundreds of data sources. Similarly, Power Query is a data connection technology you can use to discover, connect, combine, and refine data sources to meet your analysis needs. If you would like to know more, please don't forget to watch our series on Power Query. Next comes the Azure Data Factory. Well, Azure Data Factory is a data integration service that provides a low-code or no-code approach to construct, extract, transform, and load, or you can say it extract, load, and transform process with a visual environment or by writing your own code. With Data Factory, you can visually integrate data walls and other data sources by using more than 90 natively built and maintenance-free connectors. That means you don't need to worry about maintenance of the connectors. Well, this is another interesting concept over here that you should be aware about. In many of the cases, you would need to export the data from data walls. Suppose you have a table and you need that data into Excel or maybe you need that data into any other format, then how to do that? Or if you would like to export that data somewhere else, like Azure Data Lake Storage, etc. Well, there's a good news for you. Exporting data either to another data technology or to another data version environment can use any of the same technologies mentioned for importing the data. That means your data flows, data factory, power query, and power automate. You can connect those with your data verse, and then you can export the same data from there. Now we are going to discuss about work with any type of app. In Microsoft Dataverse, you will get multiple ways to integrate in any type of app, whether it's your mobile app, web app, or desktop app, or it's a device, system, or service. For cloud solutions, there are ways to integrate regardless of the model in which your solution is deployed, infrastructure as a service, or platform as a service, or software as a service. For infrastructure as a service based solutions, the integration approach always works well if solutions are running inside the container. However, in some cases, integration with an app can be achieved by using business logic contained in Dataverse. While in other cases, it will involve integration via event, the Dataverse or Data API or using plugins. So in this one, you will get to know about defining business logic, Integrating with apps by using events, webhooks, Azure Service Pass, Logic Apps and Power Automate, plugins, and lastly, Azure Functions. The very first comes defining business logic. Tables in Dataverse can be rich server side logic and validation to ensure your data quality, and it's going to reduce repetitive code in each app that creates and uses data in a table. In this one, you will find your business rules. That means you can validate data across multiple columns and tables and provides warnings and error messages, regardless of the app used to create the data. Then comes the business process flows, where you are going to guide users to ensure that they enter data consistently and follow the same steps every time. After that, you can work with the workflows which are going to automate business processes without any user interaction. And lastly, business logic with code. That means support advanced developer scenarios to extend the app directly through code. Next, we are going to discuss about integrating with apps by using events. In Microsoft Dataverse, a common approach of app integration is through the use of events. 
For example, an event such as adding a new row occurs in Dataverse. And this should be communicated to a well-associated system so that the action can be taken. For example, if a new support request was reached by someone in your company, it might trigger an SMS message to be sent to the signed of support staff. So everything similar to this scenario can be implemented or integrated with apps by using events. Now let's quickly talk about the webhooks. With Dataverse, you can send data about events that occur on the service to a web page by using webhooks. A webhook is a lightweight HTTP pattern for connecting web APIs and services with a publish and subscribe model. Webhook senders notify receivers about events by making requests to receiver endpoints with the same information about the events. And Azure Service Bus provides a secure and reliable communication channel between Dataverse runtime data and external cloud-based line of business data. This capability is especially useful in keeping this separate Dataverse systems or other Dataverse servers synchronized with business data changes. Next is Logic Apps and Power Automate. With the help of Logic Apps and Power Automate, you can trigger a workflow that can be used to integrate with applications events and data on a schedule or by activity in a database, system, services, or software as a service. Always remember that these workflows can be executed logic and interact with these systems using the hundreds of connectors to databases, platform as a service, or software as a service. Next, we are going to discuss about integrating data walls into apps with the OData API. All popular programming languages support a form of integration with REST-based APIs, that is your application programming interface. The Dataverse Web API provides a development experience that can be used across a wide variety of programming languages, platforms, and devices. The Web API elements, the OData or Open Data Protocol version 4.0 and OSIS standard for building and consuming RESTful APIs over rich data sources. So whenever you are going to work on Microsoft Dataverse, you can take advantage of this. Next, we are going to discuss about plugins. The Dataverse provides the ability to write code that sits between the API and the data. If you are a developer, you know languages like .NET, CSS, C Sharp, etc. Then when you write a code in .NET, that is going to refer to as plugin. Because the plugin sits between the API and the data, it enforces the same logic on every app. Remember that plugins can be synchronous or asynchronous and perform different kinds of tasks. For example, returns error to the user, query data works data to evaluate logic to perform, perform data operations and perform outbound HTTP requests. Lastly, we are going to talk about Azure Functions. Whenever you worked on Azure, you can find the different services over there. Azure Functions is one of them. Azure Functions provides a serverless code execution option for business and integration logic. These functions are triggered by a call from an external system service or it can be a code. For Dataverse, that trigger can come directly from Dataverse using Service Bus, a webhook, or a call from a plugin. So, with the help of Azure Functions, you can provide a serverless code execution process. Additionally, the Azure Functions call can be initiated via flow in either Logic Apps or Power Automate that involves the Dataverse connector. Do you have any question? If yes, then please put your comment in the comment section and we are going to get back to you. If you are new over here, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.